So John here is, needs to replace the boards on a 22 foot section of his fence and he plans to place the boards as shown below so he's going to place the boards right next to each other and the boards are five and a half inches wide. We want to know how many boards should he buy to cover that distance. So again let's show the arithmetic way to do it but this is one that you could use some estimation and really you know again once you since you have the answer choices, I can immediately do this by picking out, I can pick out the right answer really quickly. Okay, so we'll talk about how to pick out that answer really quickly. But again, suppose you didn't have these answer choices and it was just one of those open-ended questions. Well, then I would actually have to, to work it out. Okay, so we've got, the first thing to notice is we've got feet, you know, we, we're talking about 22 feet and five and a half inches. So we need to convert things. So... 22 feet, I want to know that equals how many inches? Okay, well, recall that there are 12 inches and a foot. The good old, good old American system of, of, of not using base 10, but okay. So, okay, so... So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, so I'm going to add those together. So 4 plus 0 will be 4, 4 plus 2 will be 6, 0 plus 2 will be 2. So there's 264 inches in 22 feet. Well, we want to divide that now by 5.5. So we've got 264 divided by 5.5, that's going to tell us the number of boards that we need. Okay, so, you know, at this point already I would be thinking, you know, this is kind of a, a little bit of an a, obnoxious arithmetic problem. So what I would do to do this by hand is, first off, I want to get rid of the decimals. So to move the decimal place, one place to the right on the bottom, I would multiply the denominator by 10, that would move it over one place. But if I multiply the denominator by 10, I also have to multiply the numerator by 10. So that's going to give me 2640 divided by 55. And now, okay, you could start doing long division. So 2640 divided by 55. Okay, so 55 doesn't go into 2, 55 won't go into 26, it will go into 264. Now we think, well, how many times does that do it? Um, it's probably like four or five times. So let's maybe, I'm going to guess four and see if that works. So four times five, that's 20, so I'm going to drop down to zero and carry the two. Four times five, again, is 20. 20 plus two is going to give me 22. I'm going to subtract. So 4 minus 0 is 4, 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 2 is, is 0. I'm going to drop down the extra 0. So now I have to think 55 times goes into 440 how many times? And again, you know, I'm estimating, I'm kind of thinking, I'm rounding the 55 to 50, I'm rounding the 440 to 450. So again, I'm using some estimation, so I'm thinking maybe like 8 or 9 times. This is where I would glance back to the solutions, I'm like, well, one of them has an 8, so let's try 8. So 8 times 5 is going to be 40, so we'll drop down the 4, or excuse me, drop down the 0 and carry the 4. 8 times 5 is 50, plus 4, hey, we get 440. That's going to leave us with a remainder of 0. So it looks like 48, well, not looks like, 48 is going to be the correct solution. So again, this might be a daunting arithmetic problem for some of you, so I would certainly encourage you to practice doing some long division with, you know, some some numbers and make make maybe, you know, the number in the denominator have a decimal in it and, and try this. Uh, because again, it can be, you know, a little obnoxious. Another way to do this, just again, I was saying, you know, I could look at this given the answers and just immediately estimate it. So, okay, so let's suppose that instead of the boards being five and a half inches wide, Let's suppose that they are six inches wide. So that's just a little bit bigger. Well, if the boards are six inches wide, that means you're going to need two boards 
for every one foot, right? Because there's six, there's there's twelve inches to one foot. So if they were six inches long each, well now two boards that's going to equal one foot. So there's two boards for every one foot. Well, if there's twenty-two boards, that means I would need. Excuse me. If there's uh, if it's twenty-two feet long, that means I'm going to need. Well, I'm going to double that and get forty-four boards. Right. So every one foot, I need two boards. So I'm going to take the number of feet and double that and get forty-four boards. So this is just estimating, but again, they're not six inches wide, right? They're a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller. It's not quite six inches, a little bit smaller. Well, since the boards are a little bit smaller, intuitively that means I'm going to need a few extra boards. It should be a little bit higher than 44. And the only one of these answers that are just a little bit higher than 44 would be 48. So just by doing this without even really doing any arithmetic, use some estimation and you could arrive at that answer really quickly, again, on a multiple choice. So estimation, estimation, estimation. This is also a good skill to practice um, you know, when, you're, when you're thinking about this. Sometimes it's much easier to estimate and round and get in the ballpark. And that's the good thing. You know, these, these numbers are all so far apart. If it was like, you know, if my choices were 46, 47, 48, 49, I would think, well, estimation's not, it's not really going to help me in this case. So again, just a little strategy on being a good test taker.